Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Zoe and I post weekly lifestyle and motherhood related videos. So if you guys are interested in that, I would love to have you join the family. Just go ahead and click that subscribe button. In today's video, we are actually going to be doing my bump date. This is my 18 week bump date and for you guys that are new here, I am starting a series where I'm doing a new pregnancy update every week and if you hear my son in the background i'm sorry he's just munching on food right now um but yeah i am doing a series where i am <laughs> where i'm uploading every week and just tracking my pregnancy and so i'll be able to watch this later and maybe help somebody or relate to somebody um that isn't maybe the same week as me or close by me or whatever the case may be i am 18 weeks pregnant and it, i swear it is just flying by i swear once it, once you already have a baby and you know you're watching a baby or a toddler that takes up a lot of your energy so your pregnancy I feel like goes by a lot faster and that's definitely the case with me um, but there has been a few changes this week I've had really 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 awful headaches and nothing I do helps I really don't like to take medicine but I have taken Tylenol and it just I still have like a booming headache in the back of my head or like right here. Sometimes it turns into a migraine and I just have to shut everything off. It's just, it's really awful. It sounds like, oh, that's no big deal. But for some reason, headaches during pregnancy really, really hurts. I don't know what it is for me, but just lighting hurts, just everything. I've tried water, I've tried you know the Tylenol but like I said I don't like taking it a lot and the few times I have it really doesn't help very much so I've just been trying to drink a lot of water and hopefully it will go away I think it's just a hormonal thing I'm not sure um, another thing is I'm super uncomfortable I think I mentioned that in my last update but more uncomfortable not just you know sleeping wise but my stomach is starting to harden and getting really tight a lot of the times i don't know if that's braxton hicks or what but it definitely is really tight um, my boobs are still super super tender um and i am leaking i know i mentioned in my last video i was like i'm not leaking yet i'm kind of bummed because i know that that's a sign everything is going properly I guess I don't know or your milk milk is coming in whatever the case may be I was just kind of sad that it wasn't happening because it happened so early on with Wilder so but I am leaking now and um it's funny because it's in my left breast and that's exactly how I, or not just in my left breast but it's it's leaking pretty bad in my left breast and that's exactly the breast that leaked the most during my pregnancy with Wilder so I don't know what it is or if that one's just the champion I, I don't know but um another thing I wanted to talk about and this is uncentered so if you guys are watching with children I would definitely turn this off because it gets kind of gross but hey it's pregnancy and pregnancy is weird and it shouldn't be bad to talk about it's natural and maybe others can relate to this but I have had hemorrhoids and I've never experienced this in my entire life that's definitely a new thing for me and it's just it's super uncomfortable I didn't deal with this with my pregnancy with Wilder I just like all of a sudden there was blood and and my butt is like hurting and I'm like Garrick there's something wrong with me like I don't know what's going on but there's something wrong with me I think I need to go to the doctor I don't want to but I think I need to and he's just like okay babe calm down calm down like let's just figure this out and he's like let me check it out let me see like let me see if everything's okay I'm like no no no, no. like that's okay I don't need you to check it out no 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 he's like babe if you go to the doctor like they're gonna have to check it out I'm like okay 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 <laughs> so anyways we came to the conclusion that it was him right in that's just that um it's just another one of those things you know pregnancy is weird and and exposes you to all of these new things and different things that are happening you know throughout your body and it's weird and wonderful and beautiful all at the same time I forgot to tell you guys my nipples are actually really 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 tingly I, I don't know how to explain it but it's like tingly almost like whenever I was having like a letdown whenever I was breastfeeding with Wilder that's kind of how it feels and it's just 
it's so weird I am wearing a lot of maternity wear now um, just because like I said I've been really uncomfortable my stomach is getting bigger everything is getting bigger and just regular clothes aren't cutting it for me anymore they're just uncomfortable so maternity wear it is I I don't really wear a lot of maternity clothes because I'm usually oh like lounging around the house like in like a big t-shirt oversized sweater like whatever um, but whenever I do go out and about, like, I like to wear maternity clothes. So I haven't felt any movement yet, and I, I mean, there's been times where I feel like, oh, maybe that could be it, but not like a, for sure, that is it, if you know what I mean. Like, for sure, that's the baby moving. Um, I haven't had that yet. I'm sure it'll be coming soon, but not quite yet. I know with your second pregnancy, a lot of the times women, you know, feel them earlier on, but that just hasn't been the case for me, and that's okay. Um, I know I'll feel him or her moving shortly. So I am still on that cleaning kick that I was talking about in my last pregnancy update, and it's honestly driving me nuts at this point because if any little thing is out of place, it gets it makes my anxiety just through the roof. Like anything will be out of place that I've that I've cleaned up or whatever. And it just makes me crazy and I hate it because I we have a 10 month old and I have a husband. Like nothing is gonna be clean 24 seven. And I keep reminding myself like Zoe, it doesn't need to be a showroom house. Like you live in this house, like it's okay. But then like in the back of my mind, I'm like, no, like I need to get this done. I need to get this done. I need to get this done. And it just is exhausting. Um, I mean, I love having a clean house. I've always loved having a clean house, but right now I, I just, any little thing just, just irks my nerves and it's driving me nuts. Another thing that's pretty weird is my C-section scar has been keloiding recently. What my doctor said was he's going to make an, another scar, basically make a new scar to where all the keloids are gone, cut them out basically. So um, he said that that happens sometimes, but it definitely is keloiding, raising a lot. And I don't know if that's because of pregnancy, but it definitely has happened um, recently. And it's been bothering me. It's been itching. So um, I don't know. I guess it's still healing or whatever, but it definitely is irritating, especially with everything like growing and expanding. And it's just irritating. <laughs> super thirsty all the time um, I swear I go through like a whole thing a whole case of water in like a few days um, so yeah I've been really really thirsty anytime we go out anywhere all I drink is water I just crave water so bad and I did this with Wilder too anytime we'd go anywhere like I'd get a meal somewhere and I'd pay for the drink and I'd be like no I just want an ice water please like always ice water ice water Every single day, every minute of every day. Also, ice. I'm, I'm still munching on ice chips, just like the pregnancy with Wilder. So Wilder has been actually acting really different lately, really fussy um, and just different. I don't know if that's him teething or if he knows that something different is going on with me and that there is a baby in my belly. I don't know, but um, people say that, you know, your babies do act different whenever you're going through pregnancy and I think that may, might be the case I don't know but ultimately it's been a really good week and I am blessed to be pregnant even though there is a lot of pregnancy weirdness that goes on I'm still so blessed and I find so much comfort that there is a baby growing inside of me and you know we're together at this time like it, it's just it's so insane and it's so crazy and beautiful and weird all at the same time and I'm just <coughs> I'm just so thankful. Stay tuned for my next pregnancy updates. If you guys want to follow the journey, just go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you guys in the next video.